you know, I wasn't gonna pick up the camera at all today. I was planning on it. I was like, I really want to film something, but my life is very busy and I was struggling to think of something concrete that I want to film. You know what? I'm just gonna do a couple days of vlogging and I want to center it around acting. If you don't know me, hey, my name's Vanessa. I go to college for theater and I've recently started taking a new acting class. It's kind of far from my house, but it's an on-camera class. So that's really cool because I've only done like theater stuff. I'm also a dancer and I've been wanting to take that more seriously. We'll see, we'll see where this vlog goes. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy making it. Right now, I am working on a scene for my acting class. This acting class is not in school, it's a studio. It's basically a monologue because the other guy just only has like three lines, so I'm doing it as a monologue. I don't know where it's from. I know it's from a TV show or a movie. And you know what? I think it's better that I don't know where it's from because then I'd have this idea of what it's supposed to look like instead of just doing it how I feel is right. So this is my side, just like a page and a quarter. What I need to do is memorize it by Friday. Today is Monday. I have recently been taking Natalie Portman's acting class. It's on Masterclass. It's a website. I haven't completely finished it, but I did take some notes. I'm just gonna take my notes and take ideas from the class and apply that. Let's just fucking do it. Let's stop talking and let's fucking go. There are some questions that I took from Natalie Portman's class. Questions that you should ask yourself about your character. I'll just list a few that I wrote. How do I see myself? How do I want other people to see me? What scares me? What kind of people am I attracted to? What gives me pleasure? How do I enter a room? And then just some more specific questions like what's something specific that really upsets me? Something she mentioned was to understand the kind of physical movement your character does and how that's gonna affect the way they walk, affect the way they talk, affect their confidence. This is very obvious in the scene that I have because she has this whole section talking about how she teaches hot yoga and she's like really sexual, you know? So that's gonna be really fun for me to implement into this work so okay let's 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 work that I wasn't gonna get Starbucks today, but number one, I'm filming, so I feel like that's gonna attract your attention. Number two, I I wanna get in the fall spirit, you know? I've sort of been in it, you know, coming in and out of it. Something about a pumpkin drink really gets me going, and I think we can all agree on that. I made a time block, which I never do. So this is right now. I did just walk my dog. I haven't showered because I'm gross. I gotta eat. Enroll in my classes, study, make my lunch, go to school, math homework, go home, run some lines, and then I have a dance class at 6.30. Let's get the day started because we got to get going. There's not a cloud in the sky! It's so pretty! First things first, always gotta wear your sunscreen. Hopefully you saw my Cocoa Beach vlog and I bought this at the Ron John shop specifically because I wanted a daily sunscreen and Sunbum is cute, so. I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I, I had like a little 
a little bit of a breakdown yesterday. I think it's very normal to be scared of the future and that's exactly what I was going through last night. Worrying about your future as an artist is, I feel just makes it a little bit worse because it isn't a nine to five. It isn't a job that you get and you stay at that job for like 30 years. You're just constantly getting new jobs. So, oh, I mean, that terrifies me, but you know what? I'd rather do something I love and have to work extra hard for it than to just settle for something that I won't be as happy in. But yeah, I was kind of freaking out. And then, um, I don't know, today I woke up and I was like, everything is fucking fine. Like, oops. Maybe I'll make a fucking vision board or something today, you know, feel motivated. Quick fit check. This is from Paxson or Brandy Melville. I don't know, but it's very 2014. Yep, I don't know where this dress is from. Sorry. Uh, white Converse. I want to feel like fall and I think this might be kind of fall. Let's let's go to school. <laughs> exhausted 6 15 and i'm gonna go to a dance class but i don't know why i'm so tired i i mean i woke up at nine that's early for me i was like i don't know how i'm gonna have energy to dance but i threw on this little fit and i was like i look fantastic and i'm so ready also these are playboy bunny socks i got them at paxson like five years ago no that's an exaggeration like Three years ago? I don't know, I was in high school. I'm a junior in college now. Hello, I'm just gonna end this right here, but first I want to put in a little clip of me doing a cold reading at my acting class. If you don't know, a cold read is when you read a script like for the first time. You get to review it a little bit before your audition, but sometimes you only get like 10, 20 minutes with the script. Yeah, it's. I'm only gonna show clips. I'm not gonna put all of it because I did not do good, but that's okay. It's a cold read. We practice. That's why I'm in acting class, so I can practice. If I don't see you afterwards, I love you. Share this heart with me, please. There you go. Okay. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos. All right. Okay. Well, um, bye. <laughs> Let's try. Ready? Ready? And action. Hey, look, I need to say something and I don't want you to freak out and make a big scene, okay? I'm looking for something more long term and you're really old, so. How would that even work? Would you like move our kids around on your scooter? <laughs> At 90 degree temperatures, I'm like a sex camel.